Hey guys, welcome to yet another video with NJAC Vlogs. Today our topic is going to be on the cardiovascular system. For those of you who are new to this channel, do hit the red subscribe button. After which you can hit the bell icon so that you get updated on the latest uploads that I do on this channel. If you do end up liking the video, do give a like and also share it with your family and friends. So without any further ado, let's get started. The cardiovascular system is also called the blood vascular system or simply the circulatory system. It is said to consist of the heart, which is like a muscular pumping device, along with a closed uh, network or system of vessels, blood vessels like uh, the arteries, the veins and the capillaries. Now, the main function of the system or the cardiovascular system are to transport nutrients, gases and waste products around the body to protect the body from infection and blood loss, to help the body maintain a consistent body temperature, to help maintain fluid balance within the body. So that's more or less the functions in general, besides many other functions that it might have when you go in depth into the cardiovascular system. The WHO states that cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of death globally and more people die on an annual basis because of cardiovascular diseases or CVDs as compared to any other cause in the world as we know today. So the WHO has certain statistics and some of the common cardiovascular diseases or CVDs are the coronary heart disease that is disease of blood vessels that provide supply to the heart, the cerebrovascular disease that is disease of the blood vessels supplying to the brain, the peripheral, uh, peripheral arterial disease, that's disease of the blood vessels supplying to the arms and legs, rheumatic heart disease, that's damage to the heart muscle and heart valves, congenital heart disease, that is malformations of uh, the heart structure existing at birth, deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, which is blood clots in the leg veins, which can dislodge and move to the heart and lungs. Pretty complex medical terms, but I'm sure many of us are actually going through this, whether young or old. Uh, going ahead, heart attack and strokes are also an issue one can come across, which is caused due to the blockage that prevent the blood from flowing to the heart or brain. Now, many of these issues or heart-related issues or cardiovascular diseases are because of a combination of risk factors such as uh, tobacco use, unhealthy diet, obesity, physical inactivity, harmful use of alcohol, hypertension, diabetes and so on. After knowing that we can have a lot of things that can go wrong with the cardiovascular system, we now would like to know as to how we could avoid that, right? So we come to the next part of the video where I now talk to you about some foods that you can include in your diet for a healthy heart. So some of these foods are fresh herbs, black beans, basically milder tender, a mild tender black beans which are packed with heart healthy nutrients like folate, antioxidants and magnesium which can help lower blood pressure. Their fiber also controls both cholesterol and blood sugar levels. Next is red wine, a mm -mm, lot of us are going to like that. If you drink alcohol, a little red wine actually can be heart healthy. Resveratrol and catechins which are two antioxidants in red wine can protect artery walls. Alcohol can also boost HDL which is a good cholesterol. Salmon or tuna is said to be a top food for the heart as it contains omega-3 and lessens the risk of heart rhythm disorders and lowers blood pressure. It may also lower triglycerides and curb inflammation. Now next we have olive oil. So you know they say certain healthy oils are good and these may protect your blood vessels and can help lower cholesterol levels. Walnuts, almonds, sweet potatoes, oranges, barley, oatmeal and so on and the list is endless. And there is so many things that you can include in your diet that can help your heart. After having come across all the foods that we can include in our diet for a healthy uh, heart, the question is how much of these foods can we have on a regular basis, thereby making it impossible to include everything in our diet because while you may be looking after your cardiovascular system, that's not the only system in your body, right? So how about a dietary supplement instead, which can look after your heart, blood vessels, protects against oxidative damage of the heart and arteries, 
improves toxin clearance, balances blood pressure, tunes the immune system to protect the heart from infections. And how about in issues like wherein, you know, someone may be going, coming across or is getting into a stage wherein he's getting blocks in the heart and what is recommended is a stent. But how about taking a dietary supplement wherein you can avoid that stent and let the immune system work on the block as that's actually how our body or rather the immune system is supposed to work. You would not only be saving your body from any external interference, but you would also be saving yourself a lot, a lot in terms of your pocket, if you know what I mean. So anyways, for more details on what I just said, you can always feel free to contact me using my contact details in the description below or at the end of the video. I can understand in your eyes that I might be advertising while in my opinion all I'm trying to do is give you an alternative and inexpensive method of staying healthy especially when doctors send you home for a lack of solution or there being no real solution to your health problem. Such dietary supplements can always come in handy and to your rescue. Going ahead the next part of this video we're going to discuss about cardiovascular system related disorders and it being a comorbidity when you come across COVID-19 as of today. The impact of COVID-19 goes way beyond the lungs and it affects your cardiovascular system and then moves on to complications in other organs like your kidney, your brain and so on. Now COVID patients which are said to have comorbid conditions or cardiovascular disorders are the ones who suffer the most and eventually succumb to COVID-19 in these pandemic times. So in some cases COVID further causes acute heart failure, myocarditis, shock and thromboembolism. The virus can actually in many ways intensify you know the cardiac issues and so even drugs that are administered to such people might actually give you relief to a certain extent but they too intensify these cardiac issues and then what use is of such drugs to you when you really need them to help you. So what option do we have then to actually keep our immune system fit through proper diet and supplementation? Well I try to research on ways to, or you know diets to help such people suffering from comorbid conditions but I couldn't find any particular diet or medication other than the fact that you have to maintain social distancing, wash your hands and other preventive measures. Even the medicines that are more or less prescribed today is uh, on a trial and error basis. There's no full proof that it actually works. However, I have still made a list of certain vitamins and minerals that you could include with the diet I already discussed with you previously which can actually help you or rather your heart health. Vitamin B1 found in sunflower seeds, beans, pork and whole grains help the nerves and brain communication. Vitamin B2 found in lean meat, eggs, almonds, milk and leafy vegetables as we have seen previously also do help. Vitamin B9 found in leafy vegetable, beans and orange juice helps preserve brain health, boosts mood and help fight heart diseases. Vitamin B12 in meat, fish, dairy products reduce the risk of heart, maintains nerve and blood health. Vitamin D which is also found in fish, cheese and eggs are also helpful. Vitamin C in citrus fruits, broccoli and kale. Omega-3 and fatty acids found in fish and flaxseed. Magnesium found in fruits, dark chocolate, beans and nuts. Zinc found in oysters, shellfish, legumes protect against heart diseases. Coenzyme Q10 also does help the heart health. That was the cardiovascular system for you, its associated disorders and the diets that you can include in order to keep your heart health in a proper condition. Well, always feel free to contact me whether it's for tips on how to live a healthy and disease-free life, about the Zoom meetings that I do on weekends or in the alternative just to know about the dietary supplementation that I always speak of. Well, this brings us to the end of another video. Thank you for watching. This is NJC signing off. Until next time, stay safe, take care and God bless.